Okay, I will start with the handover document. Uh, the first point is aim of the project. The aim of the project was to create a, an agent-based model of a virtual power grid. So what you see in front of you is uh, is the usual uh, the usual screen. Every interface element has a purpose. Uh, the ones on the left, these are called levers. Uh, these are for the uh, these these decide the geographic restrictions of the model. Uh, setup lets you set up each and every agent. Group uh, just assigns a group number to each and every agent, and when you start clustering, they form clusters based on uh, based on what group they are a part of. This is part one of the statement of work. Part two is forming uh, forming. Uh, or adding geographic restrictions to the model. So if you turn on the uh, right lever and you press geo clusters, then only the agents on the right form a cluster and they form a cluster over here. This happens a lot quicker if you if you are running it on uh, on a better system with a lot more processing speed, it happens much faster. But yeah, you, it's happening a bit slow on my computer. Okay, so that was part two. Part three was adding a threshold limit, which this slider lets you do that. This threshold actually decides uh, how the groups will be formed. It decides the amount that every group has to exceed in order to form a group. So this is part three. Part four was adding variance and uh, that was achieved by, by this function over here. This function is defined in, this is where it is defined. So this gives each and every power producing agent its own uh, its own variation, its own variance. And this variance is defined in the statement of work. Okay, so what we have done. So what I just showed you, that is all uh, we have done. This was, the, this was one of the first uh, GitHub uploads and then the client came up with a few additional requirements, although minor ones and uh, this is what was added, I think. Uh, yeah, so this was the uh, additional requirement. The client wanted to set the demand as as per their choice, and this uh, demand slider and this uh, these extra. So you can you can add extra solar or wind uh, agents to the model in case the demand is too high. If like I just set a demand, and now if I uh, if I like, let's say I regrouped, I group them again, and then I just cluster them. So, yeah, as you can see on the plot, the the sum of their energies it, it falls drastically. And on the other hand, if you if you eased on the demand a bit, if you slowed it down, then they then the sum of their power it, it rises back up again. So this was the purpose of it. And so yeah, this is uh, everything that was created and ongoing tasks. So the client wanted to add a, a periodic variance as well as a, a whole data set. He wanted to enter a data set into it, a CSV data set, and uh, that was not achievable by me, by me. But yeah, so what exactly he wanted to do was this, this variation over here, he wanted to make it periodic and that should be reflected in the plot over here. So rather than seeing a straight line, you're supposed to see a periodic fluctuation based on a 24 tick cycle. So at every 24 ticks, it should repeat itself. The, the plot you see over here should repeat itself at every 24 ticks. So that is the ongoing task. And yeah, you, uh, you need to work at, at that point. And the work progress, the work progress can be, uh, can be tracked on, on the task sheet. And all the deliverables to the client, whatever that was delivered to the client could be found on this GitHub repository. All right, so, so that's all. I'll end this now.